on your own slash our practice. So we're going to correctly identify the plotted points on this number line. So first of all, if we take a look at this number line, we do have some missing numbers. I do notice that we go from zero and then we have a break and then one and then next and then two. Well, what's going to be between one and zero or zero and one? Oh, it's going to be 0 0.5 or a half. And then we're going to have 1 and then 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, and so on. Same thing if we go with our negatives. We have 0, negative half or negative 0.5, negative 1, negative 1.5, negative 2, negative 2.5, Negative 3, negative 3.5, negative 4, negative 4.5, negative 5, and so on. All right, so we're going to take a look and we're going to see, okay, what's the decimal and the fraction of these numbers here? So we have that zero that separates it. And the first one, do, do, do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that first one, we have that decimal. No, I want to do this color. We have that um, decimal is going to be 0 and 5 tenths, or 0 0.5, because it's between the 0 and 1. The fraction is going to be just 1 half. You can put 1 slash 2. It's just going to be 1 half. I just want you getting familiar with writing these in. All right, next one, the green. We have, ooh, negative, between negative 3 and negative 4, is going to be negative three and a half. So that decimal is negative three and five tenths, or negative 3.5. That fraction is going to be negative three and one half. Negative three and one half. All right, up top, the yellow. <coughs> I am going to write this in black. All right, so we have that decimal of four and a half. It is positive. The fraction is going to be four and one half. I can move that a little bit. <laughs> All right, next one. We have that decimal here. So between 1 and 2, it's going to be 1 and a half or 1.5. The fraction is going to be 1 and 1 half. All right, the orange, the decimal, we have negative 1 and a half. Negative 1 and a half. That fraction is going to be negative 1 and 1 half. That's it. So that's going to be it for our review, our practice slash on your own. Now, remember, don't stress. Take deep breath. I just want you getting um, familiar and practice with reading number lines. That's all. Um, other than that, great job.